Hello, my darlings. Welcome to Vixterot Guidance. Welcome all of you that are new and all of you returning today to this channel. Don't forget to subscribe down below if you haven't yet. And if any of you are interested in booking a personal tarot reading or a messages reading with me, you can book the reading on Etsy. The link is down below in the description box. So in today's reading, we're going to be tapping into what are your person's current feelings towards you. We're going to be using the Villains Tarot for this reading. For group number one here, we have the Magician card showing up. For group number two, we have the Six of Coins or the Six of Pentacles showing up. And for group number three, we have the Five of Wands energy showing up. So these are the three groups. The timestamps are down below in the description box and in the pinned comment below this video. Feel free to take your time pausing the video and picking which group is the one for you, which one resonates or calls you in the most. Feel free to pick for, for more than one person if you feel drawn to that or pick more than one group for your person. I'll see you all in your chosen groups and feel free to pause the video right now if you do feel like you need a little bit more time. Hello group number one, welcome to your reading. You have picked the magician card for today. So let's get into this. Let's see what wants to show up for you. What are a person's current feelings towards you? I'm feeling a sense of I am desperate from this card. Um, and there, there's just like this type of feeling of, you know, someone going to the witch doctor um, to resolve something because they are desperate, because they have no other means or no other way of bringing about their wishes, but they still want to manifest their wishes. So it's that type of vibe that I'm getting here. I feel like your person might be very desperate about your relationship or just like desperate around just how your relationship is moving right now. So let's see what else wants to show up here, what type of other cards we are getting, but that's just the overall vibe that I'm getting here with the Magician energy. So let's see what else. Okay, we have the Ace of Swords reversed showing up for you. Let's see what else. We have the Queen of Cups reversed showing up. Let's see. So for group number one, anything else? We have the Ten of Swords showing up reversed as well. So lots of reversals here for you guys. It definitely speaks of your person's... I'm hearing lack of clarity. Also, it speaks of your person not wanting to recognize or see the truth or see what they might have lost in this connection. Let's see what else. Let's see what else wants to show up here. Let's see, what are the current feelings? Please, Ferret. Okay, we have the nine of coins. So it is just this energy of your person holding on to the things that you guys still have. It's like this feeling with the nine of coins of really clutching on to the things that you guys have so far. Maybe some things that you've manifested together, like if you bought something together or if you shared living quarters together, like things like that, like this person is holding on to these things, like anything physical, or even if it's just a place that you guys have um, have gone to together, right? If you guys have gone to a very specific area together, this person really um, like wants to keep that in their memory in the best way that they can and they are holding on to like the good old days energy is what this is showing up here it's like <clears throat> holding on to how things used to be and like the goodness of those days and not really like acknowledging how things have changed and i feel like the universe is kind of pushing this person to acknowledge how things have changed how things have shifted, how they need to like start thinking differently about their situations and recognize and accept a certain end that has occurred, especially in terms of like how they are thinking about the situation to recognize that and to move forward and to change their ways of seeing, change their perceptive 
perception of uh, situations between the two of you. I feel like that feeling, like the universe pushing them towards that, is your person's feeling of um, like this desperate energy of like still clutching on to things um, that might bring them some sense of goodness or some sense of prosperity or a good feeling overall in your uh, situation. So it's almost like like a woman clutching at her pearls energy. It's like, my goodness, you know, it's like this type of feeling where they might have been quite separate. This person might have been in their own world for quite a while, you know, like just living in their own fantasy world, even for quite a while, because they feel like they're quite separate from your perception or like from the perception of how the world might view them, right? So, so there's like an interesting energy here in regards to how your person is viewing the situation versus how you are viewing the situation versus how the world is viewing the situation. Um, so their friends, your friends might be viewing the situation. So let's see what else. What else wants to show up here? So what are their current feelings, please, Spirit? Yeah, we have judgment reversed here as well. Um and we have the Seven of Swords reversed. So with the Seven of Swords reversed, there's, there's not even an understanding that they're not being fully authentic. I feel like your person is trying to put on a show, put on a specific mask for you, but they don't even understand that they're not being authentic in this situation between the two of you right now. They're not understanding that they're not showing their true colors to you or to the world around how they are acting right now. We have the three of wands on the bottom here, which indicates that your person still wants to hang out. They still want to meet you. They still want to see you. They, you know, don't see anything potentially wrong with that. Um, while you might be asking yourself, what's going on with them? Like, why do they want this? Didn't we decide on the other, other way of having this relationship or not having this relationship? Didn't we decide on breaking up? You know, I feel like this person could just be showing up in very confusing ways just because they have like their own, like idea of, of just their own reality. It feels almost a little bit narcissistic or just a little bit like delusional even um, where they're not that open to accepting other people's prompts and ideas into their own world. You know, almost like they're living their own their own idea of how things should be and they're expecting those things to manifest around them. And if they are not manifesting, it's it's kind of making them feel desperate and needy and like they feel a lack of control over their situation because of that here. So with the Queen of Cups, I feel like this person misses you. They feel like they might may have lost you. They just definitely like feel like you're not around. You're not there to nourish them or you're not there to offer any type of nourishment to them. Um, yeah. This person can also be or sometimes tries to be emotionally manipulative with the Queen of Cups. So that just kind of adds on to how they are wanting things to like go their way. There's a strong feeling here of wanting things to go their way. Um, yeah. So overall, you know, not not a very lovely energy to tap into or a lovely person to hang out with because they cannot see your point of view right now. This person, maybe they got hurt or maybe just something happened between the two of you that made this person really clutch on their symbolic pearls, you know, clutch on, oh my gosh, oh my heavens, you know, uh, oh my world, oh what I imagined our relationship to be between the two of you that might be a reality that is crumbling from that for them right now and they're trying to kind of find some ground beneath their feet because something that they thought was there or something that they thought was always going to be available to them in your relationship or just overall is crumbling or is not is not manifesting the way that they wanted it to manifest or intended 
things to manifest. So what else? This person is not, with the judgment reverse, they're not acknowledging the renewal and the different path available to them by the universe. This person feels like they're going to continue on the path that they've set for themselves, even if it like leads them off a cliff. Even if it leads them off the edge of a cliff, this person feels like they're going to like stubbornly follow their own idea of what needs to be done. They are stuck, like literally with the judgment reverse, they're stuck in a self-imposed rot right now in this connection. Um, this person might have like lost their temper or just might have gotten like really upset recently about your situation. I feel like they did not show this to you. Or maybe you just got like a sense of that, but they kind of are ups really upset about this situation and they're staying committed to old behavior patterns or perspective, perspectives rather that are no longer serving them, right? So this judgment here energy is like literally it's a clear sign that it's time for your person's transformation and that they're avoiding it. Um... You know, it's like the universe is showing them, this is the time for you to shift. This is the time for you to move into a better version of yourself, to choose differently, to do things differently. And they're like, nope, you know, I don't want to see it. I'm not going to see it. Nothing is happening over there. Everything is happening in this other area that I've, I've set for myself like years prior. So... Yeah, they, they might even feel like a little bit aimless because they're like holding on to something that is dying off. It's like holding on to a plant that is about to die off. And you're like looking at the weathering uh, leaves and all that. And you're like, yeah, you're growing nicely, you know, like <laughs> pulling yourself into it. Um, but yeah, this is definitely like the feeling of your person still like subconsciously at least inside underneath it all they are feeling that sense of things aren't going the way that I wanted them to go and they might be feeling even you know a little aimless right now or not sure where to go they might feel like they are being stalled right um and they, they're definitely feeling like letting go is really really hard right now here with the with the ten of swords it's very painful it's very hard to let go but they feel like it's time to let some things go as well. Um, yeah. So what else? Um, they know that it's time to face the truth and the reality of your situation and then potentially to build with the remains that are left, right? To build with what they still have. They, they kind of have like that understanding underneath it all, but it feels like it's subconscious for your person, like your person does not want to admit to it. They do not want to admit that it's time to face the truth. They don't want to admit to the fact that they might have been wrong in how they have been perceiving the situation. Um, they feel like they don't want to acknowledge the reality of the situation and to move forward. Um, yeah. That's basically that. That's that's basically where your person's at, like in a bit of a Delulu land, I would say. Um, but it's it's something that I feel like they've built up as a character as well, or or as like who they wanted to be for you. This person might have wanted to be a specific person for you, wanted to show up in a specific way for you, wanted to put on a specific like mask or way of being or like become a chameleon to a certain way of life for you and just feels like your person is realizing that it's not serving them and it's not serving you and it's time to make a change around that so overall the energy the universe the flow of events is pushing them towards creating shifts changes in this connection maybe changing your relationship status or anything like that or just kind of rethinking the situation that you guys got yourselves into here that's the feeling so this reading i am sorry guys it's quite harsh this can be you know your person trying to work through a breakup or trying to figure out ways to deal with a breakup because it feels like you're just not on the same page 
um and i feel like you guys already do feel this i feel like your person was just incredibly in their own mental land so far that they might not have seen it so let's see what else let's just get three cards from the green witch oracle yes um to see what comes through so let's see i'm hearing adele we could have had it all in my head um so we have like wholeness we have gratitude so we have pink rose gratitude gemini energy and air energy i feel like your person here is very grateful for everything you've taught them everything you've given them everything they got from this connection right even if they learned in an unpleasant way or the lessons that they had to learn through this connection were unpleasant they're still very grateful for everything that they got to learn we also have passion showing up here so yeah this person still feels a great deal of passion towards you we have memory with rosemary here and trying to kind of align with wisdom with bay here as well and cleansing on the bottom of the deck so yeah there's a definite energy of cleansing showing up here that, um a need to shift a need to cleanse the old ways and mm, like position in the new ways literally like try new ways try new more wise ways of acting with the three of wands here so with passion energy this person definitely still feels a great great deal of passion towards you they are still very like attached to you they're still very drawn to you even if it's an ex energy this person is still like incredibly drawn towards you may even be very stuck on you still and stuck on the idea as said of what you guys could have been stuck on that um like ideal even of what you guys could be what your relationship could have been here um they're thinking back on all the good times that you've shared together with memory with rosemary here and they are trying to be wise they're trying to be wise they're trying to do some type of planning here they're trying to make wise decision making that wise decision making here is a, like a double-edged sword energy because it also like feels like your person is using wise decision making to bring about the means that they desire or bring about the things that they desire here not really to shift their own ways um where you know the the path actually lies for them energetically is what i'm sensing here so we're going to just get a couple of message cards for you guys here for the very end just see what they want to say so in terms of signs before we get into that in terms of signs we have gemini we have three leo energies here quite intense uh strong leo energy um what else do we have we have pisces cancer and scorpio energy i feel like mercury energy with the magician showing up here as well so it could be mercury in i'm hearing gemini or water sign so or even in leo so let's see what else wants to show up what do they potentially want to talk about or say what messages do you have please spirit group number one let's kiss and make up yeah your person wants to get back together or they would want to like change the status of your relationship right now i want to cuddle with you is here as well hmm. i feel like for some of you your person could say that they've changed um you know in an attempt in a desperate attempt to make you come back to them to kind of rekindle this goodness here it's not altogether a lie but it's also not truth you know if they say that they've changed they are attempting to make changes but they're not actually yet fully on the journey towards changes but they're open to them right so that's what your person means when they say i've changed it's like i'm open to the possibility of changes but i have not yet changed my ways so just be mindful of that i want so much more for us yes they definitely do they definitely want to like have this security and just again like have all the good stuff that you've had in the past to kind of like reawaken that bring those things back to life i'm 
I'm hearing like bring me to life the the song by Evanescence was it I'm not sure like it's bring me to life to do it's it's just quite gothic and like a bit emo song and that's what I'm hearing <clears throat> might resonate for some of you or just might be the song you need to hear right now in your connection so let's see what else let's make a baby ooh so another one another message card show, show, shouting <laughs> showering showering us with let's make up let's get back together you know forgive me forgive me for i have sinned i'm not good at expressing myself emotionally um i feel like this is this is like a like it's it's not genuine energy this is not like a genuine energy from your person this card it's it's just like a placeholder like i don't want to look at my emotions therefore i am just going to say i'm not good at expressing myself emotionally and hoping i get away with it that's what the vibe is but that's what the card is talking about so let's see um especially like for for you guys specifically here this is not just like in general what the card means is just the energy here is like this is like a placeholder for this person not wanting to dive deeper into themselves or being afraid to dive deeper into themselves at this time so let's see you make me nervous yeah they definitely feel nervous around you and unsure unsure of their fate unsure of where this is going unsure if they still have something with you unsure of you know the perspectives of this connection and the possibilities of something having something together okay you guys so let's get just two more here two more messages please so this is love they definitely feel like this is love like this is still something that you guys can cultivate like there is still love here in this connection and this person doesn't want to give up on that and that's that's actually lovely that's actually genuine because they do care about you it's just like they are caring in a very convoluted way um you're on my mind today is your message as well so yeah you guys let's get one more let's get just one more message please for it one last message from this person and then we're done for today i want to explore us yeah they want to still continue to explore this connection continue to explore how you guys can make it work what needs to shift what needs to change and how they can like adapt to making something out of this and making something work for the two of you so yeah this is where your person's at right now you guys hope this gives you some more clarity some more understanding some more guidance overall on your path on what's going on with your person i'll make sure to pull some guidance cards in the next readings that we do so that you guys also like get some clarity on what's the right course of action for you right now so that you're not just left you know hanging here with the awareness of what's going on with your person so thank you so much for tuning in if any of you, you do want to book a personal tarot reading you can book through the etsy the link is down below or get message cards from your person um the link is below on etsy we have all of that available right now thank you so much for tuning in you guys I really deeply hope this helps and just gives you some more understanding, clarity right now concerning your relationship and your person. Thank you so much for liking, for subscribing, for tuning in and for commenting down below. I love you guys so much. and enjoy reading your comments so much. So thank you so much for taking the time to comment and to share. And yeah, if any of you are interested in connecting to 18 plus tarot readings you can get a library of over 50 pick a card tarot readings that are 18 plus uh, with me on patreon the link is down below there are three new videos each month so yeah the link is down below if you want to tune in and connect to 18 plus readings it's on patreon the primordial practitioner steer so thank you so much you guys for tuning in i love you all and i'll see you soon in the next video bye Namaste. Hello, group number two. Welcome to your reading. You have picked the six of pentacles or the six of coins for today's reading. So let's get into this. Let's see what wants to show up for you in regards to your person's current feelings towards you. So, so the vibe. Um, what I'm hearing for you specifically here um, 
is we have a good thing going, don't we? So it's, it's an interesting energy of your person wanting you to confirm or wanting you to agree with them that you both have a good thing going here. Like what this connection is right now, it's developing in a good way. It's from your person's energies coming through as though they are on some level doubting what you guys have and wishing like you could have something more. But at the same time, it's like the energy of I can't dream too high or I can't dream castles in the sky. <laughs> now I'm hearing, I'm hearing castles in the sky from How I Met Your Mother, like Robin's song. Like this person feels like they cannot build castles in the sky with you, but they're kind of, I am getting this, this energy, like they are kind of just almost agreeing with the circumstances that you guys have as being good enough for this connection um, and for like the friendship or the amount of love that you have. There's like this feeling of it's good enough. But there is at the same time this feeling of we could have better or we could do more. Um, and it's like they are just trying to persuade themselves that what you guys have is good enough. There's this almost like fear of wanting more here as well. Or fear of allowing themselves to want more. Right? Because this person, they definitely recognize like you guys do have it good. You know, there is... A feeling here of good reciprocal connection and harmony and like this balanced given receiving energy is definitely present in your connection there's also maybe a sense of formality present in this connection that kind of helps keep the structure helps hold the relationship together there's a certain formality here maybe it's just the circumstances that surround the two of you as something set as something stable um, but it's almost like this person is, the word is almost like settling for what you guys have right now. And they are convincing themselves that they need to settle for what you guys have right now so that they don't wish for something more, meaning get hurt by wishing something more to happen. So that's like their vibe here that I'm picking up. So let's see what else we can get. Um... What else? Group number two, please, Spirit. What are their current feelings? What are their person's current feelings right now? Okay, so what do we have here? We have the seven of coins showing up, the seven of pentacles. So yeah, there's like this slow, steady progression. It's like your person is like observing the relationship. Look at it. Like they are observing, they're looking at what's happening. They might be keeping track of what you are doing as well or kind of like keeping an eye on you is the vibe here keeping an eye on you through other people like maybe looking on your social media things like that see what else we have the eight of wands this one's kind of limbo energy your person wants things to move and they definitely feel an intense energy between the two of you and they want things to move forward but there's like a limbo energy here Let's see, let's clarify this one before we move forward. Okay, so we have the Queen of Swords here. We also do have the Magician, so I'm going to take both of them. So what's what's coming through here is like your person wants to manifest deeper clarity between the two of you. They feel a great deal of intensity towards you and your mind. So I feel like your person here, they're very much in love with how you are thinking and in love with your sense of independence they adore that about you they really adore your mind your intellect or just how you approach topics how you approach conversations there is something unique about you there and your intelligence is something that really pops out to this person and they feel very drawn to you when that is the case like when you are really in your element and especially when you set boundaries with them, there's something sexy about that. There's something sexy about you setting boundaries here. 
is what I'm getting. Um, and of you being like in your element, of you being like in very seductive, confident, and just you, like who you truly are. Um, there's something like very royal about you and attractive and witty and just interesting and juicy to tap into. Like your person loves hanging out with you when you're in that very juicy intellectual element of yours and not taking any like stuff from anyone very strong shrewd boundaries even up um yeah it's, it's like it's hot and they feel attracted towards you because of that let's see what else you have a very strong will i feel like that your person really admires so okay so we have the knight of swords here coming through reversed so this is like a feeling of your person wanting to connect, wanting to talk to you about just stuff, like just wanting to catch up with you, basically. It's it's like the feeling here of I have nothing of interest to you to discuss with you about. Like I feel like your person, they are wanting to talk to you, they're wanting to connect, but they also feel like they don't have anything interesting to talk about like anything new to talk about or there's just you know maybe some new things that have happened in their life they don't want to talk to you about um maybe because they're too personal and they don't want to like bring that into the conversation but this person they just want to talk to you they i feel like they want to have more intellectual conversations with you or more conversations that like connect you through your mind but at the same time, it feels like they have nothing new to offer you. They have nothing new to say to you or the topics that they might bring up are not going to be of interest to you. So they're going to be perceived as boring. So it's that type of like mental, I feel like system or mental pattern that they get themselves into. Let's see what else. What are the current feelings here? what else okay we have the king of wands okay powerful so there is definitely passion here there's definitely desire here there's definitely like a bold mood a bold atmosphere let's say that your person is in let's get also like two more cards we have the two of coins showing up so they might feel a sense of a need to balance out their lives and we have the eight of coins balancing out their lives and a focus on the physical is showing up here. And this person definitely feels like they need to cut something out of their life in order to bring about this balance in your relationship specifically. So there's this strong feeling of they need to powerfully cut something out of their life and they know this is going to be painful to them in order to balance this connection out, in order to bring things into alignment with you. This person might have a lot of their like little limbs in many different places, you know, um, and they feel like they are overexerting themselves or they cannot just have, you know, a focus on this and this and this and this all at the same time. They feel like they need to simplify their life. And that means cutting away something um, and bringing an end to something in their lives right now. Okay, so this almost like feels like just, yeah, cutting away something like a hobby, a person, a sense of thinking about themselves, even a sense of thinking about this connection, like kind of, you know, talking themselves out of this relationship or talking themselves out of contact contacting you connecting to you here um this is a possibility that your person feels like they need to cut out a relationship with someone else in order to cultivate a relationship with you here with the ten of swords so the ten of swords really just does indicate a friendship relationship or project your person has put a lot of energy in and thought in coming to a painful end possibly through even a betrayal of some kind right so your person knows that that is on the horizon that might already be a part of their life with the Ten of Swords kind of powerfully standing here. So it could be that your person has recently gone through some type of 
painful end of something like a friendship relationship project um and they've been left with heavy emotions around that um they are trying to give themselves time to process this ending and get closure right but also trust for the best that bigger better things are in store for them it it almost like potentially if you guys resonate with this connection ending you know they are still stuck on that they want to connect to you if you feel like that is <clears throat> your relationship um but they feel like they cannot talk to you with the knight of swords reverse there it could be that you even blocks blocked them you know so they're kind of waiting for a clear path again and maybe just checking up on you through other accounts that they've made here. So that's potentially a vibe here for you guys as well. If you guys resonate with that, your person feels like maybe a little bit frustrated with the Knight of Swords reversed here. Um, yeah, they're trying to be calm, patient and consider their actions carefully though with these two here and also like with these there, there's a feeling of needing to ground themselves to think realistically about the situation. And that's also like the energy here, like think realistically, don't put your head in the sky because it's not going to get you anywhere. It's it's like they're, you know, having this um, perk up call like with themselves. Um, yeah, just talking to themselves about the situation. So trying to like perk themselves up. Um, so yeah, just, just this connection. This can be other relationships, other projects. Um, it can be your relationship. If it is your relationship, you're going to obviously know of its ending. Um, so it can go like either way in terms of energy. Regardless of what is happening, your person still like feels strongly for you here. This is a very mature, adult, passionate energy with the King of Wands here. So the King of Wands energy still represents a focused emotional state towards you. A very determined, creative wish to still make something of it, right? So if your person, you know, has been in this painful end in this situation, they still kind of want to get back together here with the King of Wands. And they want to still see if there's potential here between the two of you. This person does resonate with being a powerful visionary and they feel like they really like they, they really connect with you. We have wand energies, we have air energies, wands, fire and air, you know, they go well together. There's like this balance here and there's this attraction here. Um, your person also kind of feels like their methods might be unconventional right now. Um, but yeah, they're trying to like really follow themselves, follow their vision, follow their ideas, but also like in a grounded way, like they know that their ideas, their vision, their head in the clouds can often lead them astray. So they're trying to just really ground their ideas right now. Um, but still like beat to the, to their own drum, be their own person, do their own thing. This person is not afraid to be unconventional to ruffle feathers, to be weird, you know, they they just are who they are. Um, they might even be generous towards you, like offer you something in the future. And yeah, they feel like they are definitely like mentally trying to set themselves up for success in the future between the two of you. Um, and they're trying to work hard to bring this into balance. So they're trying to work hard, literally to bring this connection, to bring their emotions into a more balanced state. And they are staying dedicated to their goal. They're keeping up their practice, their discipline. And like, they might not like it with the eight of coins. This person's like, I might not like it, but there's, I'm still keeping to it. I'm still keeping to this relationship. I'm still keeping to getting the ball rolling. Yeah, like even if you cut them off, even if you block them, if this person's not letting go, um, they're going to continue trying to like connect to you because they still feel like you guys had a good thing going here. But it's an interesting, it's an interesting vibe. It's an interesting situation that they're in because there's like this passion on one side and there's this feeling of being grounded, realistic, down to earth, you know, on the other 
and it's like wanting to bring these two together to marry these two energies while at the same time they're trying not to be too reckless um and act on their frustrations with the knight of swords here yeah they're trying to respect your boundaries as well with the queen of swords here so especially if you guys like resonate with being gemini Aquarius, libra here this person really wants to respect your boundaries and especially how they communicate to you how they come across to you so let's see what else wants to show up let's get three or four cards from the green witch oracle for group number two please spirit what wants to show up okay so yeah, we have positivity. This person is trying to regain their positivity is what I'm hearing and also to stay positive. You also have longevity here. So they're interested in like the long term. This person is playing the long game. They're they're like in a marathon with you here. They're not in a sprint. This person is in a marathon with you. They feel like they want to have a longer relationship with you than just like a fling or a just like this short occurrence maybe you guys have had like a short fling even energetically even just energetically it doesn't have to necessarily be a uh, physical but there's just this feeling like you guys have had something going here and it might have died out a bit and now yeah if like your person just wants to rekindle it they're also afraid of like a potential of this connection ending as well, like looming on the horizon. There's this fear of this connection ending on the horizon. Let's see what else. Um, Like a fear. We have emotion. Yeah, they could be feeling quite emotional, but I'm hearing keeping it contained. Um, Yeah, this person, if they're feeling emotions, they are keeping them more to themselves. Like they might have cried. I'm getting this feeling like this person might have cried about you, but they're keeping it to themselves. They're not going to reveal that to you. They're not, not going to say that to you. It's like a sense of pride, um, being stubborn about that. But also like, I'm not going to say that I cried. Uh, like it's it's almost like it's below them. That's the vibe that's showing up here. Um, like they they do struggle with being humble in the connection. And when it comes to their emotions, we also have affection here, Sorel. So yeah, your person feels a great deal of affection towards you. You know, they still definitely like you. And there's this feeling of we, we had a good thing going, didn't we? Again, you know, as I said, there's this feeling of, but yeah, we, we, we did have it good. We did have a good thing going. We still have it good, don't we? You know, it's like this feeling of, oh, you know, why, why not try again? Like we had it good. Well, let's try again almost like bargaining like they're bargaining themselves back into their life into your life um here yeah i'm hearing you put a spell on me your person might feel like they're really you know enchanted almost like bewitched by you yeah and they're they're trying to just be in a positive state of mind around this connection and do their best with the eight of pentacles it's like i'm doing my best i might not like the work that i'm doing right now but i'm doing my best to kind of make something happen to make a shift happen possibly maybe please you know it's this energy um so yeah in terms of signs we have as said gemini aquarius uh libra aries leo sagittarius over here um leo scorpio cancer taurus I'm hearing you look so good. There is something just very attractive about you, about your looks. Um, your person really likes the way that you look and they have a lot of affection towards you. You're very cute. So let's see what else wants to show up here. What else? What are their messages to you? For group number two, please, Spirit, what are the messages from their person? I'm getting my stuff together. Wonderful. They're getting all their stuff together. So they're they're kind of leveling up. They're doing their best in the physical world, especially to like maybe cut out certain things that are long, they're lo no longer serving them. Make something new happen. Bring about changes, shifts. Engaging in new potentials, possibly. Let's see what else. I'm scared to reveal how I really feel about you. This person is afraid to really open up about their feelings. They're scared to get rejected or they're scared to just be met with that. Almost like aloof, hardcore, 
strong boundaries, a queen of swords energies, you know, from you. We have, I'm so crazy about you with a little like smiley face here. So this person is crazy, playful about you. They really want to hang out and they like kind of hope that they could be more easygoing in this connection or that you guys could be both more easygoing in this connection. I want to know how you feel. So I feel like your person is also like unsure about how you are feeling, how you are thinking about them at this point. And they might be doubtful whether or not you still like them, whether or not you feel the same, whether anything here is still reciprocated. Um, I do not want to see you with anyone else. Your person is also like really struggling with the potential of you being with someone else, with another person. Um, even if they don't let it on or show it, it would hurt them. Um, yeah. It would hurt them if you were with someone else, but also like, yeah, they, they know that they messed up. I regret what I did. They know that they messed up. So they know that, you know, if you choose to be with someone else, it's, it's what they quote unquote deserve in a sense. You have bewitched me is here also. So, and there's this feeling, I'm not sure if we can fix this. So there's this feeling still of, okay, I'm not sure. Can, can we work through this? I hope we can. They're, they're definitely keeping their optimism open um, here in this relationship right now, kind of seeing where it's going, hoping for the best, keeping their fingers crossed. So that's the vibe here. That's the energy. Thank you so much for tuning in, you guys. Thank you for sharing your energy with me today. Hope this resonated. Hope it gives you some more clarity around your connection right now. Um, if you guys want to tune into a personal tarot reading with me or get a messages reading from me, check out the Etsy shop. The link is down below. Thank you so much for commenting. Thank you for subscribing and thank you for liking the video. Feel free to share the video with someone that you love as well to get the messages across. And yeah, if any of you are interested in an 18 plus tarot reading and to also just get a library of over 50 pick a card readings that are 18 plus, check out my Patreon for that. The link is down below. So thank you for tuning in. Love you all so much. I'll see you soon in the next video where we're also just going to tap into some guidance for you guys as well, which we just didn't have time for in this group, in this reading right now. So we're going to see what is the guidance for you around your connection in the future readings as well. So love you guys, blessings and much love and see you soon. Bye. Namaste. Hello, group number three. Welcome to your reading. Welcome. You have picked the five of wands today for your reading. So let's get into this. Let's see what wants to show up for you here. Right, so like the vibe <laughs> for you guys. It's interesting. It's it's that scene from Mean Girls when the girls have gone wild, where there's just in, like ultimate chaos in school. Um, and everyone is like running around and there's just like this chaotic energy. I feel like that's the vibe here uh, for your person right now, just like overall their energy. Let's... Let's see what else we can get here. Yeah. I feel like they, they're struggling. Like they think they might have messed something up real, real bad. And they're struggling like with what to do. This person doesn't know. Like do they let things sit right now? Do they say something? Do they not say anything? Will they mess everything up if, we, if they don't say something? So it's like just an energy of like overthinking but at the same time not being able to make any type of decision but just kind of spiraling it's like they're spinning they're spiraling in their own thoughts in their energy and there's this confusion like i don't know even where to go what's the right thing like should i do something should i say something should i let things be what what do i do like what do i do where do you go you know it's that type of vibe let's see what else we got here um so group number three's person Pile number three's person. What are your current feelings? Okay, so indecision. The two of swords, not knowing where to go exactly. Like, what do I do? I don't know. Um, they are feeling burdened, overwhelmed, mentally overwhelmed, um, maybe even burnt out. The four of swords. We have the queen of wands showing up here. So there's definitely like a lot of 
positive emotional direction here for you also like we have the six of cups so this person regards you with a lot of positive lovely emotions but they might be like mentally and energetically, they might be just quite burnt out, tired, um, unsure, doubting themselves and like really, really struggling with seeing which option and which path, which decision is best for them to take. And they've been potentially overthinking this for a really long time, which has led to them just feeling incredibly burnt out and knowing less now than they did when they've started thinking about this connection so let's get to more cards let's see what else group number three what's going on with you guys yeah we have the five of cups here there might be some regrets um a, a sense of loss maybe they feel like they've lost something here in this relationship they might be even like struggling with seeing um the good options right now i mean they do see the good options but i feel like they're crying over and focusing on the things that they do not have rather than what they have we also do have the world here so the world like literally here talks about a certain ending um yeah let's put this here Ooh, we have the five of coins reversed on the bottom of the deck underneath it we have the eight of coins so your person like trying to work hard like put everything in to get back on the horse to get things going to get things moving okay okay they with the world here there's like a feeling of something ending of some type of cycle ending for your person but at the same time, like feeling a sense of closure, a sense of completion in this connection. I kind of want to, I, I want to clarify it. Um, let's go here. Let's clarify the world. What's this world about? What's the cycle about? What's ending? Okay, so the lover's energy is here. So some type of lover's vibe, lover's energy here is ending for your person so maybe their illusion about this connection or some type of other relationship for your person here is ending and they might feel like they can begin a new connection with you potentially soon so i'm just going to keep it like that um yeah ending past relationships starting up a new relationship Feeling maybe overwhelmed. Uh, um, hmm. There's definitely a sense of struggle here. Like your person is mentally struggling a lot. Then the, it's like not a mental struggle of like wanting to get somewhere necessarily. Just a mental struggle of having clarity. And your person is struggling with having clarity predominantly. Right, And that is what's also causing this burnout for them because they can't in any way gain a sense of clarity right now. And there's a feeling of like coming closer to you, coming to a sense of oneness with you, at least on an energetical level. There is a feeling of you guys coming closer together. But that also means that certain cycles in your person's life are ending right now, which can lead or could, can make them feel the sense of loss, regret, like a sense of crying over spilled milk energy here, you know, like struggling with change, struggling with the sense of letting go some um, relationships here as well, or letting go of aspects of this connection in order to bring about something that is much more fruitful for the two of you. So kind of ending something in your connection, like a certain form of connectedness in order to bring about another form of connectedness between the two of you that is much more fruitful here and that's what, what that's what they're struggling with like and I'm struggling with the energy as well because I'm like what the heck you know what the heck is your situation to to like make them feel like that 
and then like with the five of coins reversed there's this feeling of getting back on the horse especially with the eight of coins underneath that it's just this feeling of your person is working hard right now they're working hard they're dedicating themselves to the physical hard work putting in the work putting in the hours putting in the action to bring about something better a better tomorrow um right so they might have even felt like they were stuck in a rut here with the four of swords a little bit and they're not like now like recognizing that they don't want to be stuck anymore and they might have even before they might have been going through a difficult time financially or experiencing a certain instability at home especially if you per you if you resonate or know that your person has a family you know they might have struggled with that instability at home um but the luck is changing for them right now so new opportunities are coming into their lives to save the day to like take them out of scarcity um and they are trying to make the most out of this your person might be still kind of I, i'm getting just this feeling of resting reflecting there's like a hibernation energy with the four of swords it's almost like it's just the energy of like burnout really like when you've been focusing on something for such a long time that now you don't have any capacity left in you to focus on it anymore and there's this sense of i'm just i'm just going to have to like move through this or just live through this and hope for the best let's see let's let's like continue feeling into this and see what else emerges um mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. they might feel like they're like a little bit suspended in limbo right now they're trying to shake themselves out of it break their routine with the world here as well, like align with more joyful endeavors, bring in more joy in their life again. Um, yeah. They, they want to connect with you again. If they haven't recently, or if they haven't a lot lately, they want to connect to you again because they miss you with the Six of Cups. There's just, just this feeling of this person feeling good around you. Like you remind them of their childhood. You make them feel good. You make them feel at ease. There's just something about you that makes this person feel comfortable in life. Um, and you give them new perspectives and you align them with new opportunities, you know, and you also like, I feel like you are like a catalyst for this person with this queen of wands. Like you bring that fire in their lives, um, like the internal fire, that vitality, a sense of passion, a renewed sense of passion for their life. So the vibe that I'm also getting here is like your person is watching you. They're, they're kind of observing from the sidelines. They are saying that they know they cannot go towards you are they'll still in this energy this and this energy we have a lot of fives here so there there's like a perceived there's a sense of restriction is what i'm getting so very saturnian feeling is present here your person could have gone through a saturn return recently just um in terms of energy because there feels like there's a saturnian energy here present and it could just be like you guys could just be capricorns uh, or something like that, but it, you, or you could just have, you know, strong energies in the seventh house around or concerning Saturn, um, like Aquarius potentially. But yeah, there's, there's just this feeling here of like Saturn being present, restrictions being present in this connection, like, you know, and, and strong restrictions. It's like, you cannot go past this, no matter how hard you try. You know, this is not something you can do right now. Um, it's just a part of how how fate, how, how their life flows at a certain time. Especially like with all these fives, there's this, there's this energy of restriction that I'm tapping into here, which is energetic, which is physical and which is emotional. But it's not mental. 
So mentally, this person could have tried to figure out which way to go, what to do, struggled with it, ended up breaking themselves. But at the same time, they know it's it's like the journey that they've been on. It's potentially also part of their journey. And your person feels like they're aware of this. Like they're aware of this process, whatever their process was here, being their own journey here with the world. Because they landed here on the world. And they end with the world. And it's a sense of completion again. It's a sense of completion of also like receiving the lessons that they had to receive about this connection. So that they can look at this connection from a different point of view. So it's also like a more transcendental energy that you guys have here with your person. Also, like, especially with the lovers showing up here, you know, um, there's like a transcendental energy overcoming the past relationship, overcoming the past of who you used to be, overcoming that and moving forward to the new era of lovers, to the new era of your relationship here. Yeah. Almost like, you know, the snake um, leaving its skin behind. It's that type of vibe here. Like they're leaving the old skin of this relationship behind and like allowing a new fresher energy, which is like a lot more playful, which is a lot more like bolder in a gentler sense, in a gentle sense. Soft passion soft intimacy showing up here with these two especially thinking before they act is the energy here as well more wisdom showing up in your person a sense of respect humbleness towards you as well in case they haven't been humble before i feel like your person has had recently experiences in their life that have made them recognize and accept some things about themselves which have led them towards just being more humble in relationships overall, more humble towards you, like more, more respectful of your journey, more respectful of their journey. And it kind of goes hand in hand as your person is like respecting themselves more. They also are able to respect you more, respect other people more. That's also the lovers like oneness, you know, uh, also like as you are able to be like a good human towards yourself, then you can be a good human and a good companion to other people as well yeah I, i'm kind of just playing with this pyrite here to to feel things out maybe move the energy around a bit yeah like let's let's do it it's just this feeling of things being maybe a bit stale things being a bit stuck here um I just heard like you're my soulmate with the lovers. There's like this feeling of, oh, I like you. You're my kindred soul. You're you're a companion to me in this lifetime. You feel like home to me. There's just something here about home that this person really resonates with. And when it comes to you, like you, you definitely represent a sense of home in a sense to this person. Maybe just how they felt when they were a child. Something that they have forsaken or forgot and now remember again. But yeah, like, like there's a deeper energy here. There's depth here. And your person, I feel like they're still like holding on to a lot of things. There's a sense of secrecy with the Four of Swords as well. They're showing up like they're holding on to a lot of their own thoughts. A lot of things they haven't voiced towards you. But there's like a feeling here of, of like this being unfinished. This connection is still unfinished from their perspective. With the lovers especially, there's this feeling of we still have stuff to do together. Maybe not in the same way that it, than we have so far, but in a different way. We have stuff to do together. We have stuff to stimulate in each other. Chilly energy, Aries here. So yeah, there's passion that's still bubbling under the surface, even if they're kind of poker facing it. Especially with this one, with the Four of Swords. I don't know what it is about this one. It's just like this poker face energy. We have grounding. Yeah, your person is trying to ground the energy. I just heard with this one, with the potato, especially like, I just heard that line, what excellent boiled potatoes from Pride and Prejudice. Um, 
and there's a sense of formality here again like that sense of formality that sense of restriction it's kind of arising again and again here as an energy and, and it's really deeply present and i'm not sure what exactly that is maybe it's just you know your situation that's presenting restrictions or maybe your person feels like they want to be like formal towards you whatever it is you know it's just that formality here and that's again like present with the potato saying because that character i forget his name but that character in pride and prejudice they are just very um like formal to the point this is how it's done you know like very earth energy so we have abundance here grape yeah your person feels like there's still like a lot of growth a lot of expansion available in this connection they definitely can grow a lot with you and they can they can have a lot of adventures with you and they feel like this connection is very abundant and they kind of know like like th there's just this feeling here that even if you guys are not physically together in the physical world they're still going to be energetically bonded to you they're still going to be connected to you at least like on an emotional scale there's always going to be a connection here and they're always going to be able to tap into this abundance even if it's not physically present yep okay so let's see what else one more card please spirit for group number three we have an agreement do we have an accord is what i just heard as well like do we have an agreement do we have an accord this could be an agreement that you have made with this person prior to coming into this life as well and there's a sense of agreement here between the two of you right now that is made subconsciously or has been made subconsciously unconsciously and you're both kind of trying to keep the balance keep this connection balanced out and not go into any extremes interesting so like mm, interesting because I'm, I'm like getting like restrictions but i'm also like getting this depth and love and affection and like the sense of you understand me you get me and i feel at home i feel at peace i feel secure with you that's the vibe here that I'm getting. There's like this potential, strong potential here, but at the same time, again, still restrictions present. Like, like this sense of you cannot go here. Like, you know, almost like you are on a path forward and then a troll comes up on the road and they're like, you can't go here. This is not available for you. Pick another path. You know, it's that type of vibe. Um, Yeah. So let's see what else wants to show up. So we have Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Energies, um, Virgo, Sagittarius, Libra. Let's see what else wants to show up. So we're just going to see what messages your person has for you right now. We also have Gemini here. Oh, that's that reminds me. There is another energy here, especially with this one, with Jupiter entering Gemini right now. There is this feeling of the potential and the luck of your person and of this connection changing and shifting and the relationship potentially moving to a new level because of the U jupiter in gemini so so just something to keep in mind something i, I got as a message before but i kind of was like preoccupied with trying to understand um but yeah that's also a message for you guys that jupiter in gemini is going to move things along for you guys and like bring in more good luck and more good optimistic expanding events for the two of you a shift in the relationship so yeah be open to it be open to it to be mindful of it i'm so happy when i'm with you i want a more serious relationship with you here as well like a deeper bond a more serious relationship i can't be with you right now yeah that sense of restrictions here i can't be with you right now so that you know is potentially the situation something about your person something about you cultural differences long 
distance, whatever it is, there's something here that's a restriction or many restrictions even. What we have is very special. So your person is recognizing your relationship. Here is very special. They feel like you have bewitched them. They feel like they can stop thinking about you. They just feel like, you know, like they're under a spell here. And yeah, I'm also hearing I've never met someone like you. Um, I'm embarrassed over how immaturely I've acted. So they might also be oh, like overthinking, thinking about how they might have acted towards you in the past. And they might be feeling like, okay, I screwed up immensely here, but I try, I'm going to try to do better next time. They're also not sure if, you know, this situation that you have right now can be fixed, can be shifted. It hurts me to be around you. I want you and I can't have you. Again, that sense of restriction present here and we have I see a big future for us so yeah this is like an interesting energy because it's like optimism definitely like what we have is very special I want something deeper with you uh, I want to fix it there's definitely that feeling here and wanting to still go forward and manifest some type of future together yet simultaneously there's this feeling of I can't have you right now I can't be with you right now I can't manifest this with you right now so yeah, interesting, very interesting energies. I hope this helps in one way, shape or form, helps you understand this connection better, helps you understand your person a little bit better, my lovely group number three. Um, let me know how this was, let me know your situation. If you feel like you wanna share down below in the comment section. Overall, if any of you do want to book a personal tarot reading, you can book through the Etsy shop. The link is down below. You can also get a messages reading such as these messages over here if you would prefer that for your specific person. So thank you for tuning in. All my love and blessings to you. Thank you for hanging and thank you for sharing your energy. Um, yeah, thank you for liking, subscribing, commenting down below. And if any of you do want to connect to 18 plus star readings, the link to the Patreon covering over 50 pick a card tarot sexy 18 plus readings is down below. If you want to check it out, make sure to sign up for the primordial practitioners tier. Yeah, I'll see you guys soon in the next video. And in the next video, we're also tapping into some guidance for you guys, just because we don't have enough time right now for this reading, or just because it would be a bit too chunky. Um, so yeah, we're going to tap into guidance for you guys as well in the future videos. So all my love and blessings to you. Hope you are well. Hope this reading gives you more clarity and I'll see you soon in the next one. Bye. Namaste.